When you're looking for quality, yet simple elegance in a USB keyboard and mouse set, the Logitech Wireless Combo MK520 is the place to turn. What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here, and today guys, in this review, I will be reviewing the Logitech USB keyboard and mouse MK250 set. Now for this review, we'll go ahead and start off with the mouse. Now this Logitech USB mouse is a very, very nice little mouse here. It's a double button mouse, so it's not like those uh, Mac mouses you get with the one button, which I really don't like. They are kind of uh, bad. Uh, they're just kind of hard to control. And then, so that's an outer plastic type of shell here. Pretty nice. It's the double click again with a scrolling wheel. And then over here we've got these uh, kind of lined, patterned uh, fingerprint sides. So when you actually move the mouse around, you'll get a good grip and feel on it, and it won't be sliding out of your hand. On the bottom here we just have the Logitech logo, and then uh, actually on the back of it, or the bottom, we have uh, four little sliding feet, so you can actually slide it on top of a hard desk. You don't need a mouse pad, but you can slide it on a mouse pad if you wanted to. It's not like those rubber ones which barely move. Here we have the on and off switch, very good for power saving. Um, the Logitech logo here, and just the part numbers, and then in here... You actually open this up and we have a uh, battery port and then here's where you keep, let's say you're traveling, here's where you keep the little USB stud. Now the keyboard and mouse both share the USB stud so there's no extras and also the mouse and the keyboard have a power saving feature so after you're not using the set for a few minutes it will just uh, turn off automatically but as soon as you touch them again it'll go right back on. So it'll save your battery for quite a while uh, which is a really great feature as well. So overall the feel of the mouse is really nice and I do like it a lot. Aside from the mouse, my favorite part would have to be the keyboard. With its ultra slim design and such easy to use controls on the keyboard, this has to be the best keyboard I've ever touched or used. As you can see here, we have this really ultra thin design down the side. Here's my finger compared to the keyboard. It's pretty darn thin, especially on the bottom. Here's the actual front of it, again with the quiet type keys. And then here is the back where we have 8 degree feet that pop out of the bottom for enhanced lift so you can use it easier and then we have rubber feet on the bottom and they are on these uh, lift off 8 degree feet as well so uh, when you actually have it on the desk it's not going to slide around or anything and then up here uh, we have play uh, next and go back buttons which I use for iTunes and even in the background let's say if I have a web page open these buttons do work with iTunes and then here we have all the volume buttons over here we have a power indicator, and then right here is the on and off switch. So, pretty cool. And then here we've got all these different features with the FN key. If I hold it down here, I could activate all these features. I haven't really gotten through all of them yet. And then back here we actually have the battery, uh, battery holder back here. And then there's also a spot for the little uh, USB drive that uh, actually controls the mouse and the keyboard if you want to put it in here instead of into the mouse. So you kind of have... Uh, two choices. So let me go ahead and put this back on here. And then here we just got some information. But otherwise it's a really, really sleek design and I love it a lot. And it's really comfortable to type on this, especially with your wrists. You won't be uh, banging your wrists against the edges. You'll have them lifted up. And especially if you put these 8 degree feet on, it will be really cool to type on and I think you guys will like it a lot. And again, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the quiet keys. I mean, they're not that quiet, but compared to some other keyboards, there's really a huge difference. So, overall, I really do like the design of the keyboard. And its sleek yet simple design really makes the product enjoyable to use. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.